Hello, so why am I like this at the beginning of the video and not set up all beautifully with lighting? Um, we're getting to that, but what happened, and if you've seen my TikTok or Instagram reels, you'll know, is that I filmed two parts of this video and the first part didn't actually record and I didn't realise this until I got home and it just seemed a bit strange to film the first part like properly somewhere again. So I thought, do you know what, I'll just do a little intro to it. So, um, in the video, what basically what I was saying, in the video, um, filming at my mum and dad's house, I'm not, I'm at my own house at the moment, but I was filming at my mum and dad's house, all good in front of their lovely Christmas tree, so that was the start of the video, but, um, the actual video this week, oh, and welcome to Dreamers, Setters and Go-Getters, um, by the way, <laughs> um, this week's video is why are so many of us overwhelmed at the thought of change, that's the point of this week, so, without further ado, we will go in to the first point. When you're filming a video and just the, the camera just switches off in the middle of doing it, it's like, excuse me, excuse me, I'm trying to film a video here, do you mind? Anyway, number one, we're afraid of the unknown. Of course we're afraid of the unknown. We don't know what it is. But the idea, I think, with fear of the unknown is to actually not see it as a bad thing, but potentially a really good thing. The thing with the unknown is things can always get better, but for some reason we focus on the negative and the fact that going into the unknown feels that the unknown is going to be worse. Why do we do that? Well, many reasons. Probably the media. The media try to make us scared of everything that's a bit different, so that doesn't really help. But I think, especially in the Western world, we just get very, very comfortable in the life we're living and the world we're in. And there's, there's so many indications that things can be swept away from us. As I said, especially being in the first world, we are so privileged and seeing the more developing world, um, we can look at that and think to ourselves, oh, I don't want to end up like them, which I know sounds harsh, but come on, it's, it's realistic. Um, so fear of the unknown is that we're going to lose some of our privilege and end up worse than we are. But most of the time, if you go and do something different, it will probably be better because worst case scenario, you do something different, you just, and it doesn't work out, you just go back to where you are now. So yeah, one of the biggest things is fear of the unknown. Number two, we don't want to make a mistake. Now I addressed this in my last video, our fear of making mistakes, uh, making us very stunted from ever moving forward in things. But in order to achieve anything in our life, as I said in the last video, is that we need to risk making mistakes. And mistakes aren't always necessarily a bad thing. Mistakes will teach us things. Another thing about mistakes is that sometimes you can make a mistake and find that it's actually, the outcome was better than what you wanted to do in the first case. So one of the, it's quite obvious to see why we fear making mistakes because I think from a young age, like when we're in school and things like that, if you make a mistake, you may have gone to a school where you got particularly told off if you made a mistake, or you may have had parents that gave you a big telling off if you made a mistake. But as adults, I think we need to learn that making mistakes is actually all part of growing or part of succeeding at something and that we should actually embrace our mistakes when we make them. So yeah, number two is fear of making a mistake. Number three, we're worried about what other people may think. Now, this is like quite a crippling thing to a lot of people. And I think if we just look back in history, I think I mentioned it on another video, actually. Um, historically, people that have been seen as different or doing something different have been persecuted for it. Um, I think I mentioned before, you know, the witch trials, if you were different, you got burned at the stake for being a witch. So, and I think that witch wound is known runs really deep. It's particularly in women and we don't realize it is quite ingrained in our DNA. And that is actually something you can look up. That's not just me just chatting rubbish. Um, but yeah, to be seen as an outcast by society is quite scary, but I think we're quite comfortable in a world now where we can branch out, we can do our own thing, we can be our own person. If you can hear a noise in the background, I don't even know what that is. I mean, likelihood it's either gonna be my son just making a load of noise because he's here with me, or it's gonna be, no, it stopped. Maybe it's my dad. I don't know, someone's making a noise and it's really annoying. Hopefully they've stopped. Probably not, we're gonna get stuck. But do you know what? We gotta take these opportunities when we have them. So, where was I? Oh yeah, fearing what other people think of you. Um, I think we have far too much of an obsession with being seen as normal and not wanting to blow our own trumpet 
or be seen as, as as acting like we're better than we are when really this is something we need to stop particularly as women we really really need to put ourselves out there i know in the media we are constant they're constantly pointing out things about women where if they do anything a bit different they sort of ridicule them for it and this is not all media and this is not all the time but it's quite a common thing in like gossip magazines and the real sort of trashy newspapers in particular um to really highlight it when a woman tries to do something different but and this is the, is the same with men as well but i think you know we do get it a bit harder than the men do in that area but um if you don't try and be different then you're just going to end up the same as everybody else if everyone else is doing a nine to five job they're doing a nine to five job and they're getting paid a specific salary to do it and you can't raise that salary much you can be promoted they'll give you a pay rise but doing a nine to five job is never going to make you a millionaire. It's never going to get you to where you actually blissfully see yourself if you were living your dream life. And breaking out of the nine to five is seen as very strange, very different. But if you don't do it, and as much as you'll be seen as normal by your peers, you will just be living exactly the same life as them. So, yep, see where you go from there. Number four, we're not sure if we have what it takes. Um, this is something that I'm very familiar with and a lot of people, every single entrepreneur in the world will have experienced this at some point in their life. And it's a, a common one called imposter syndrome. Basically imposter syndrome is when you are going to go out and do something different with your life. So you decide to start your own business, judge, put yourself out there on YouTube or something like that. Something where you're going to be doing something quite different. And imposter syndrome will, will creep in and be like, well, who are you to do this? Or, you know, you're talking to yourself, so who am I to do this? Who am I to be successful? You know, why Why do I think I'm better than anybody else? And it will hold you back from going after things. But yeah, it's just an ultimate fear that you haven't got what it takes, but you have. Because everybody can learn how to do anything. If you want to do something, 99% of the time, you'll be able to learn how to do that. So the fear that you cannot do what it is you want to do, the fear of not being able to achieve what you want to achieve, and therefore causes you overwhelm it's perfectly normal and you will get through it so you just need to keep on at what you're doing and you'll get there and finally number five change is hard it is change is hard we get very complacent we get very comfortable we get um you know living our little lives and then all of a sudden something changes and it throws us you know completely out of whack and it's understandable that people fear change because it's hard um, because we do generally in in the Western world have quite easy lives. I know people are going to watch this going, I don't have an easy life. No, compare yourself to some place in the world. Compare yourself to kids living on the streets in India. Compare yourself to a family living in poverty stricken parts of Africa where they're struggling to find food and things like that. You know, our lives are quite easy. We have other issues we have to deal with that people in harder situations probably don't. But overall we are meeting everything on the uh, basic um, hierarchy of needs which i mentioned in a previous video it's uh, maslow's hierarchy of needs so yeah change is hard anything you did is worth doing is worth working hard for so push through it come out the other side all good so that's it this is quite a, a short video this week but i just kind of wanted to get it out there quickly and just um make sure i had some content for you before we get into the christmas uh weekend this should be going out in fact this will be going out on wednesday the 21st of december winter solstice but um this will be the last one before christmas that you'll see so i hope you'll have a very very merry christmas and i will see you again on wednesday the 28th of december have a good one